the future on display in Las Vegas today as the International Consumer Electronics Show kicks off. The hottest new gadgets being shown off from wearables to selfie drones, the connected home, even driverless cars. Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Franzen in New York. Some are calling this the Super Bowl of gadgets and it's just getting underway. And joining me now from Las Vegas is ABC News' Neil Karlinski. Hi, Neil. How are you? I'm well. The show just opened a few hours ago and you are on the floor and you've been perusing around. Give us the vibe out there. The vibe is, is craziness. I, I mean, literally, it is, there is so much here. It, it takes days, it lasts days to take it all in. So just to give you a smattering, we're standing in the middle of one of the convention center floors and anything you can imagine, you know, is all around us here. I'm gonna show you one thing real quick just because it's available to us and it's pretty cool. It's a robot and there's a lot of different robots on display. This one is called? This is called Budgie. Budgie. Um, it's a follow robot. It'll carry up to 50 pounds of your bags, backpacks, and groceries. So this is great. You just hold this little remote and it sees it. And then if I'm wearing this, this thing will follow me around. And so this is great because we've got a lot of gear. You throw some of the gear in the bag there and you go walking around and this budgie thing is is following you. Who's the market for this? Who do you think wants to buy uh, Anybody who could use assistance. So the disabled, elderly, um, parents with a handful of kids. Coming uh, at you with it. Again. Sorry. Sure. That's a great idea. Um, and when do you want to bring this to market? Uh, we're looking to uh, ship our first units in March, so we're taking pre-orders now. Um, these are the final two prototypes before you see our production model in the real world. Good luck with it. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Pretty cool. I'm going to bear with me, it's Michelle, a nice because companion there, there's Neil. just so much chaos here. We're going to pass by a, a nice... We're going to take that thing with. <laughs> uh, there's all kinds of small robots here, and we have an opportunity, and I'm going to jump in before we lose it, to go into this, which is, this is a 3D scanner, right? Yeah, it's a full body 3D scanner. So I'm gonna go in here. Sure. And which way do I face? Yeah, you face me. I face you. Yeah, you stand still for 12 seconds. 12 seconds, all right, here and we go. And we start scanning immediately. Can I talk? <laughs> They're gonna scan me, so I'm not sure I can talk, but You're back in the Whoa. airport. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk, but I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. And what is happening here is it took a 3D scan of me, really? and I'm done. Really? I can, can walk out. out. Yeah. All right. And uh, that's going to turn into, what, a Neil action figure? Uh, it will be an action figure in <laughs> six minutes. Uh, it will deliver a 3D replica of yourself, a 3D body model, which is immediately printable. So you can really, I mean, send it to a 3D printer and get a, a, a stature, a figure, and we call it a shapey. Shape you're like a voodoo doll. You can. You know, well, it's it's not that soft. So, I mean, <laughs> you, but you can use it for whatever application you want. All right. Before we move on, I know the doll You've takes a while. You've been replicated. Print, printer. Does, a, does a readout show up on the screen that we can see? Or? Yeah, we'll see it on the screen in several minutes. Several minutes. So because the, the <laughs> scanning views captures 720 3D surfaces within those 12 seconds, and they wow. automatically reconstructed to a 360 degree. Uh, 3D model of yourself. It takes right. just five minutes, but it's it, and it's fully automated process. So we'll wait a couple of minutes. I'm going to step away and, and let Michelle pepper me with questions, and then okay. hit me on the shoulder, <laughs> one of my friends here, Great. when it's ready. We'll come. All take right. A look. While we're waiting for so you to be replicated, around, but uh, I know you have some questions for me. Yeah. While yeah. we're waiting for you to be replicated, give us an idea about, about what we're hearing the buzz about this ring. The bus about which, I'm sorry? About the ring. And that remote ring. The ring. The ring is cool. Good one. Right. I tried this product on called the ring, and it is, it's a little bit bigger than, than my wedding band. It's pretty thick, and it is a remote control built into a ring. And uh, it actually works. I tried it, and maybe we have some video there. Yep, I mean, for we instance, are you don't it. want to wear it all the time. You could leave it sitting by the couch. You put that ring on your finger while you're by the couch, and then with various motions, waving your hand in the air, and you can customize what motions you feel comfortable with or are easy for you to remember. You can turn your lights on and off. You can make the volume go up and down, change the channel. Um, you know, a producer back in New York I was working with last night said it's like the clapper. I guess it is like the clapper, but for 2015, because it controls as many things as you can possibly imagine. Uh, they're going to bring it to market later this year, they say, and include uh, an additional item, a hub for your home to plug in all of your electronics so that you can work all kinds of things. If you don't want to do that, you can just work your phone with it. 
connect your Bluetooth, you know, answer a call or change, you know, take a picture uh, and that sort of thing. So, Neil, give us an idea also. We've heard about this uh, personal drone called the Nixie. What's that? Yeah, the Nixie is cool. And you know what? Let's just walk while we're talking about this anyway, shall we, Chris? Should we go this way and maybe we'll see my 3D image. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Uh, the Nixie drone, and I know you have some pictures of that. This thing is cool. Everyone loves taking a selfie. Maybe not everyone, but a lot of people like taking selfies. So this is a selfie drone, and you actually, we just saw it, and, and that video is coming later, but the video from the company you're seeing, you wear this drone on your wrist, believe it or not, and it's light, and then it unsnaps from your wrist, you toss it out, they call it boomerang mode, it flies out just a few feet, takes a picture of you, wow. and then flies back and you catch it. Uh, and it's remarkable, and it's a husband and wife team that invented this, and, and basically from concept to where they are now, and they just won a half million dollar prize from Intel, it's only been six months. It's incredible. Uh, it, you know, they're still working out the kinks, and there's a, you know, a way to go, but they have a lot of buzz here. People uh, are loving what they see in this Nixie drone. I'm just so, looking around. Neil, me you're, for walking walking the, you're walking the floor here. A lot of people don't get a chance to do that. Consumers wait till these products come out. How long usually of a lead time is there from what you see that many of these gadgets make it, makes it to the hands of consumers? You know, some of them, it, it could be years. Some of them are in an incredibly short product cycle, like that Nixie drone. I mean, they designed it in six days, won a half million dollar award a short time later, and they're just six months in now. Some of these, you know, we're, we're in some of the larger companies here who are making things like connected washing machines, uh, even coffee makers we just passed, which actually uh, supposedly can, can read how well you slept and then make the coffee stronger or less strong based on that. So those big companies, big teams, long product cycle. But so, a lot of the people we're meeting, and we're bouncing around through a lot of people here, uh, are actually very small companies, just working out a shoestring budget with a handful of people, and they are doing things quick and fast, and, and just showing prototypes here. So we know you're not at a car show, but we see everything from the home to the car to the washing machine that you mentioned. Is this going to be the year that everything is integrated? It is, you know, they call it the internet of things. And, and that is, you know, literally to have your light bulb and your coffee machine and your TV and, you know, you and your health data all connected via the web. And, you know, we did pass a car over there. And I know you mentioned cars because, you know, the Detroit Auto Show, traditionally the big one going back God knows how long, uh, it's really overshadowed in some ways by the Consumer Electronics Show. A lot of the big automotive manufacturers are here. Mercedes-Benz last night, Toyota yesterday showing new hydrogen fuel cell cars. You know, forget electric, they're moving on to a completely new fuel cell, hydrogen, and betting on that for the future. Self-driving cars, also huge. Audi has driven from San Francisco here to Las Vegas, a self-driving car. They say it's production ready, ready to go. Not an experimental thing, just needs the laws essentially to catch up with it so that you can buy one of these. Uh, and this is a self-driving car that they say can operate fully on its own on the highway, pass cars, move around, navigate, and then alert you, the driver, to take over when in an urban area uh, where obviously, you know, there's a lot more traffic, people, stop signs, kids. Uh, and if you don't take over, by the way, they say it will pull over and turn off on its own. Well, we thank you very much for that tour you're giving us, and I oh. hope you get your replication, your 3D model of Neil Karlinski. The truth, so the three. <laughs> the you 3D guy just ran up to, to, to grab us. I don't know if we're going to have time. Do, is it ready? Yes, yes. Do you have time? We got time. Let's go see it. <laughs> All right, we have time. Where are we? Where is it? It's this way. All right, here we go. Come on, we got to hurry. Thank you. We'll be quick because we're, uh, we're running out of air time here. I mean, you can get a sense following me here. There's, there's a woman standing here. I don't know what she is showing off. There's all kinds of things. Oh, here's my 3D model. I'm not in the showcase with the dolls yet. Look at that. That's the finished product. But there's me. Yeah, it's not texturized. Oh, yeah. Oh, there I am. There's my, my backside. <laughs> Soon to become the front? a figure, correct? Yeah, I mean, look at that. I look, I look like a goofball, but I guess that's the way I look. Okay, so Neil, I'll take the ring. Boy, who wants? There's going to be a big market for this. <laughs> the ring, the selfie watch. Immediately printable now, so I mean, you can now convert it to a figure like this. So, the, well, the now main, it's weird. Zoom out. 
Okay. <laughs> my face looks incredibly weird. Oh, actually. All right, we'll, we'll bring you back a couple of rings and a selfie watch, and then and some, you can some, officially be in two places at once on the now. Desk, maybe. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right. We need more. Have fun, Neil. Thank you. You can keep up with this story in real time by downloading the ABC News app and starring the story for exclusive updates on the go. For now, I'm Michelle Franzen in New York.